Let's listen to the kick compression. And while we listen, let's experiment with the attack and release settings. Note that on the 1176, turning the attack and release knobs up makes for a shorter or quicker attack and release, and turning them down makes for a longer attack and a slower release. And this meter right here is currently set to show gain reduction. With slower attack times, the main level meter shows a higher level because the compressor starts working after the initial transient gets through. Shortening the attack time catches that transient earlier, and therefore the meter is never allowed to go quite that loud as it was when the transient slipped through. Although adjusting the attack time will change the character of the harmonic distortion. Have a listen to see if you can hear it. Listen to the tone. The release time, on the other hand, can be heard in the length of the resonance. As I mentioned earlier, longer release time holds the later part of the drum hit at a lower level, shortening the sound. Shorter release time lets go of the compression, allowing the level to return to normal, and the note will sound a bit more sustained. Let's give that a listen. 